Hey guys, MMA one-on-one -on -one with Wolfman here, and I'm with Justine Kish, who just come fresh off her win at RFA 9. We're backstage. How you doing? I'm feeling good. That was beautiful destruction. That was your second MMA pro win, 2-0 now, um, and uh, against a pretty tough girl from a yeah. tough camp who trains with Liz Carmouche. And what I saw was... Um, you guys trying to get your footing in the first round, in the second round it was beautiful. Lots of Muay Thai clinch, elbows and knees, especially your elbows were really messing her up. Is that what you felt like you were comfortable on there? Um, that's where I find the uh, best opportunities for striking is that elbow range and the knee range. So yeah. uh, we were both trying to figure out the spacing, the spacing issue, but uh, I was trying to take advantage with elbows and filling the space with the elbows and knees. What, what was the um, what was the first round like, and, and, and did the moisture out there and the, the precipitation, I think, from the heat uh, get to you? Was it, it was pretty slick, even for Pedro Munoz, and you guys actually fought off after the, mm -hmm. the title fight. Yeah, they did save our um, our bout for the uh, uh, very end, and I realized the first uh, the first round we were both trying to figure out uh, what the uh, flooring situation was like because it was very slippery. Mm -hmm. So the first round we were both just you know I think we were just trying to figure out the flooring the. Uh, the surface, and then we were getting the hang of it, and then things started picking up a lot. It can suck, so you can say that. It happened yeah. to me in my first fight in 97 on two weeks' notice. It's <laughs> drizzling, and, and it's hot, and a baseball stadium outdoor show, and fighting a wrestler, that didn't work out so good from a, for a kicker perspective. But um, It was still 50-50 for both of us, so we both yeah, had to figure either. it out. Yeah. Um, it really was beautiful. It was mm -hmm. a great performance. Um, you, you were hitting her with a lot of like uppercut elbows, all kinds of different elbows against the cage. You were driving her into the cage. You had very good balance, it looked like. At one point, she finally uh, hooked a head with her left arm, got kind of a very slow headlock takeover. But um, you must have been training pretty good because you put the foot around, one of the, at least one foot around and, and popped your head out, <laughs> got the other foot around, got her back, got the hooks in. And well, then... she definitely put me in some dangerous situations and, you know, props for her and how tough she mm -hmm. was. So, uh, you know, I just, I, I came, I moved out here to put, to make up my lack of, of experience mm -hmm. in jiu-jitsu and wrestling. So I put all of my uh, training into that. How long have you been here uh, working with Black House? I just uh, moved uh, here in, uh, into Black House in April. So okay. I decided, okay, this is, I have an opportunity now to train with amazing jiu-jitsu and amazing wrestling coaches. So I'm going to take full advantage of it. How much grappling and, and whatnot did you have before the move? Um, I used to do it when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. So you, you fresh from Muay Thai yeah. to April, you, you switched? into an MMA fighter? Um, yeah, I did a little Pretty bit of MMA nice. first, but then I really had a passion for Muay Thai, so I dedicated a lot of my training and competitions to Muay Thai. Okay. And then I decided to go back in, uh, into MMA because it got, it's finally in the UFC for women. So right. I was like, okay, this is an ideal time. You better get caught up into jiu-jitsu and wrestling now. Absolutely. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. <laughs> it, women, the WMMA is blowing up. And, yeah. Um, uh, you know, Evicta has been great too, and Evicta is, you know, kind of like pay-per-view online and pay-per-view on provider now on TV. So, I mean, I think there's going to be a lot of options for a girl with skills like yourself. We've seen Miriam Nakamoto, who has great Muay Thai striking Beautiful skills. Muay Thai, Beautiful, yes. right? Yes. And she's been landing it just like you did in that Muay Thai clinch, mm -hmm. uh, clinch range, you know, fighting in the elbows and framing the neck and keeping the people away from the hips. And mm -hmm. she's been able to do that, and I think you're going to be successful doing that. As well. Thank you. So, yeah. yeah. How, what, tell us about your Muay Thai background. How many fights did you have? And um, Well, with all of my competition experience, I've had about 20 plus fights now. Um, with MMA, not as much. I've touched uh, professionally a little bit with boxing, kickboxing, and uh, MMA, and of course Muay Thai. But um, now I really want to catch back up on uh, yeah. mixed martial arts. You had a Muay Thai title, did you get? It? Yeah, I won my first uh, world championship, world title bout in uh, Phuket, Thailand, mm -hmm. and that was for Simbi Muay Thai and uh, and at Bangla Stadium. That's 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 awesome. And then, did you have any amateur MMA fights before your two pro fights? I had a few, about three, about three or four, I believe. Okay. And they were all wins as well. Well, well that's great. So. Um, you know, I, I think you're a free agent now, so you mm -hmm. may fart here again at RFA, maybe uh, Invicta, Shannon Knapp, you might want to pick this girl up. She's got some serious stand-up skills, and <laughs> if she's training at Black House, she's going to be mixing out that wrestling with Kenny Johnson, right? Yeah. And you're going to be getting the jiu-jitsu with every Brazilian in the world that happens to be shoved in that yes. room of killers. Take full advantage of that. You know, that. Pedro Munoz just became a world champion yes. here in RFA 9, so... Um, I think you're going to do really great. Get <laughs> a hold you. of this girl. Uh, do you want to plug your team or management, or how could someone get a hold of you? Um, they can find me on Twitter okay. um, or Facebook, all of the social media. Just under your, your real name? Just under my name. They can search my name, of course, yeah.
All right, guys. I'm Dan the Wolfman. You guys go to ProMMAnow.com for all your information. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. It makes me feel happy inside. And uh, I'll see you at the next fights. See you.